So often on this newscast, we've shown how life can change in an instant by a mistake on the road. But when it happens and it's not your fault, you just want the person responsible or their insurance company to make it right. Often they steer the other way. As Jason Coltharp explains, one local man from Dexter in Washtenaw County found that out the hard way. Family Just when it seems Vince Doa is matter-of-factly recalling his traffic accident. Uh, I was traveling uh, eastbound on uh, I-96 about a little bit west of Wixom Road and it was heavy traffic. Suddenly you realize it's not easy for him to talk about at all. The next thing I knew, um, the car in front of me, <clears throat> excuse me, I suffer from PTSD and it's uh, difficult to revisit it. Um, but the PTSD is because Doa's truck was hit by a commercial truck tire. He had basically no time to react, seeing it at the last second. So I went back kind of like into the line of fire and tried to get my car so that it would be to the left. When that tire hit, it would hit towards the right of dead center. And the next thing I know, there was an explosion. Um, and uh, when I woke up, uh, I looked to my right and there was a guy standing there looking at me like I was dead. The guy standing there was a retired sheriff's deputy who knew how bad Doa had been hurt when he asked him some questions. And I couldn't answer because I had a traumatic brain injury. <clears throat> Doa had bleeding on his brain and now permanent nerve damage in his neck and arm that still requires two surgeries. He needed three eye surgeries. He has headaches and enough damage to his spine that doctors told him another car accident could leave him paralyzed. I would not, I would not wish this on my worst enemy because it's been torture for four years. My that was the physical part. Doa has also endured a legal headache. When all of the treating doctors come in and say all this, then what you're supposed to do is say, own up, man, and say, I'm sorry, this is our bad, and take care of it. Doa's attorney, Ven Johnson, says the insurance company for Lower Huron Chemical and Supply didn't own up, but instead hired private investigators to follow Doa. They know they're responsible and then to try to make it out where Vince was the bad guy. And Vince, they literally called him, Jason, in open court throughout this trial, a liar, a faker, and a malingerer, right? Oftentimes, this is done as a generality early on in a case. Attorney Steve Weber has defended many trucking companies and seen how insurance companies operate. He says they're not concerned about looking bad to a jury. It's about doing their due diligence to make sure a victim is on the up and up. We all pay insurance, so we don't, you know, as a general rule, we don't want insurance fraud to go on because that raises the cost for everybody. In Doa's case, the jury needed less than two hours to decide in his favor. What I think it shows is they were looking for a narrative. They stuck with that narrative despite the fact that the evidence absolutely proved that their narrative was wrong, and it literally blew up in their face for seven point now over eight million dollars you can have all the money just put me back to where i was physically mentally spiritually and emotionally before the accident that's all i ask i did reach out to that insurance company and i was told it did not want to comment in any way for this story i'm jason colthorpe local four all right jason vince's accident by the way he said he mentioned the four years it's getting close to five now 2018 the trial lasted 15 days